so today I'm going to show you how to get GameCube up and running through Batacera. If you've not yet checked out Batacera, be sure to check out my full setup guide I uploaded a couple of days ago. And be sure to hit notifications and also subscribe for more content on Batacera. So let's get into this. So we've got Batacera up and running right now. And to go to add some games, I'm going to go to the F1 key on my keyboard. And that's going to bring us here. So next thing I'm going to do is add my game into the directory for Batacera ROMs. So from here, my game is located on my USB drive I've got connected. And I've just popped it inside of a folder. And my game is just here. Now take note of this. This game has got the extension .nkit.iso. Now, ISO images work fine if you've got nkit.iso like I have just here. That's absolutely fine as well. So what I'm going to do is just make a copy of this file, my game, and I'm going to go to the ROMs folder in Batacera and locate the GameCube folder, which is pretty easy to find. And I'm going to just right click here and go to paste. And that's going to kick in my game, which is Alien Hominid, and it's a superb game. I really recommend this one if you're into shooters and platformers. So next thing we're going to do is go to Applications. From Applications, our GameCube emulator is Dolphin. So you'll find this for for long Dolphin MU config. Just double left click on this one. And just here you're going to find Dolphin could not find any GameCube Wii ISOs or WADs. So double click here to set a games directory. So from here, I'm going to locate my ROMs folder. And if I just scroll this down, I'm going to find GameCube. And I'm going to just left click on this once to highlight it and choose this. Now, you can put as many games as you want into that ROMs folder. And it's very easy to do, really. So from here, what I'm going to do is just go to controllers. Now, as always, I'm using my PlayStation 3 controller. But if we go to the controllers tab at the top, standard controller for GameCube, forget the rest, this is everything to do with Wii. We're looking at GameCube. So let's go to configure. Now the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do just here, under devices, locate your controller. Now if I put this down, we can see just here, I've got PlayStation 3 controller. And what I'm gonna do is define some of these buttons, so map them out essentially, so X, and I'm going to press the buttons on my PlayStation 3 controller. So that's entirely up to you how you map this. You're obviously going to want a picture of a real GameCube controller and kind of compare it with the buttons you're using on the controller you're going to be using through Batacera. So it's a little bit time consuming, but once you do this, you can save it and it's pretty much set up and you won't be doing this again. So what I'm going to do next is if I go to profile at the top, I'm going to just name this profile as PS3 and I'm going to hit save. And after this, close and I'm going to close this down. So, so let's just open up Alien Hominids just here. And like I've been saying, because I'm using a dot end kit, you'll see this warning come up if you're going to be using that file extension. All you need to do on this is just check these just here. And there's two of those to check, which is I'm aware of the risk and want to continue. And also check, don't show this again. So in future, if you're going to be using NKIT, then it's not going to be a problem again, unless you don't check, don't show again. And as we can see, it's up and running fine. So what I'm going to do next is actually go inside of Batacera and I'm going to show you how to get some very, very cool looking graphics and widescreen that type of thing. So anyway, let's back out of this. So for this, I'm going to just press escape on my keyboard and do you want to stop the current emulator? So yes on that. So let's just back out of here now. So file, exit. And I'm gonna exit out of here altogether now. So file, close window. And next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is your GameCube game isn't gonna be showing right now. So what we do need to do is go to main menu, game settings, update game lists. And we now have Nintendo GameCube listed, all good. So if we go inside here, as always, I'm gonna scrape some artwork by going to main menu. 
Scraper and Scrape Now. And we got a very cool Sonic Adventure theme going on in the background, song rather. And obviously we need to go to game settings, update game lists, and there's our artwork and preview video. Awesome. Okay, so if I open this up again, it's going to be the same as what I did just a minute ago. So let's enhance this. If I go to view options by pressing my select button or whichever button you're using to get to this menu, advanced system options. Now under emulator, you've got Dolphin, which is the preferred one for this. Uh, Libretro Dolphin just means it's a retro arch version or rather a retro arch core of Dolphin. Next thing we're going to want to do is decorations. Now, if you want to put decorations on the sides like you can see just here, go ahead and do that. But if you do do this, make sure your screen aspect ratio is set to 4 by 3. If you set it to 16 by 9 and put one of these in place, you're going to miss a lot of the screen gameplay. So for this, for now, I'm going to just press none. Now, I'm going to make this widescreen 16 by 9. So under display, I've got aspect ratio, and I'm going to force 16 by 9 on this. V-Sync, always turn this to on. It gets rid of any screen tear. Now, we got a widescreen hack, and it does say glitchy in brackets. So it only works with 16 by 9 ratio and bezels disabled. So I'm going to try this one, but it does say glitchy after all. So on some games, it might work properly. On others, it might not. And under rendering, if you ever get any problems booting up a game, then if you go to graphics API, uh, switch over to Vulkan or OpenGL. Rendering resolution is where your gameplay is going to come to life. So you can boost this up to 5K in theory. Uh, things might break and things might look a bit strange. I'm just going to go for 1080p for this tutorial. And if we just next go to anastrophic filtering, Again, you can go up to 16 times, so just be aware if you've got a lower end computer, things are gonna lag or it might crash, so just be aware of that. I'm gonna just go to eight times on this. Anti-aliasing, which is the option to get rid of any jagged edges on our gameplay. For example, you see a fence and it's got lots of pixelation around the tops of it. Uh, by putting anti-aliasing on, it's gonna reduce those uh, crazy little lines. So again, Dependent on your hardware, just go careful with this one. And under anti-aliasing mode, if you can, go to SSAA or, you know, put it on MSAA. It's entirely up to you. Okay, so we're good to go. Let's try those new settings out. And here we go, so that was an example of if you boost up some graphic settings, video settings. So here we go, awesome. And that's it, so that's GameCube with Batacera set up for you today. So, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you like what you see today, hit subscribe and also be sure to hit notifications so you don't miss my upcoming content on Batacera setup guides. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok and be sure to check out my membership options. But until next time, stay retro! Mm -hmm.